Hey guys, what is up? And I'm back with another review. Please subscribe, like, and also follow SF Photography and reviews on Instagram. The link is in the description. So, let's get into the video. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about and reviewing the GoPro Dome. So, this GoPro Dome is not made by GoPro. GoPro has not made one yet. I think the company GoPro has, but um, I think it's for the Hero 5. Um, I'm going to be doing this one. This one is for the Hero 4 or 3s. Um, which is nice because most people have not upgraded yet, but some people have. So this is for, this one is for the GoPro Hero 4. So I'm going to tell you what actually came in the box. I'm going to disassemble everything and show you what came in the box. So now I'm going to tell you everything that actually came with the dome. So the first thing, of course, is the dome. Um, I will be assembling all this for you guys so you can see. So it's easier if you get one of these. So here we go. So you have the dome here. It's mainly just plastic with some metal with the boards and stuff. But it's mainly just plastic. And there is a cage here on the back for the GoPro. Um, the next thing that I think is actually really cool for the price. It actually comes with a GoPro case here. Um, these things by themselves are like 50 bucks by GoPro, and this entire thing together is like 70, 60 bucks. So, which is nice from, um, it is nice from the company um, to include that. So, the next thing, of course, is the handle grip. Um, it is grippy, and you can attach like a wrist strap down there and the GoPro mount on top. And I, this one does not float. Um, it also comes with a second grip, which this one does float. Um, it would float like this, so you can see the yellow part um, when you're swimming. And the last thing that came with the GoPro dome is the screw to attach the GoPro housing to the handle grip and a little tool to tighten it. So now I'm going to assemble everything for you. There is no assembly on the GoPro dome um, by itself. So now we're going to start the assembly. So now let's do a quick little time lapse of putting the GoPro housing on the grip, just putting in the screw and tightening it with the tool. So here you go. So you can also use this by itself. Um, the case is waterproof. So let me get my GoPro out now. So here is the GoPro Hero 4 that I have right here. And I'm going to put it in the case right now. Um, it is a different case, type of case, than the, the um, other GoPro one. GoPro's brand, but it's an extra keys, which is nice. So here you go, the GoPro Hero 4 in the Dome's case. I'll just put these two aside right here, and to put it on um, the case here, I'm going to brighten this up just a little bit so you can see. So right here, there's um, two screws and this thing that opens up here. And there is a button, I would talk about that in a little bit. So you open it up, you take the GoPro, you put it in there so it's in there, right? And then you latch this back down, tighten up the screws with your hand. There is no tool for this. So after you put the GoPro in there, you're going to tighten the screws on the side. Um, there is no big um, assembly, just screwing them on. Very simple. And now it's on there, and now you're ready to film as you guys can see and there is a button right here underneath the um, screw the real place to put it but that is the power button so once you put it in there you hold that down I just use my phone with the remote so I'm going to tell you how to actually use the GoPro dome so what you're going to do is you're going to pick this up um, and you're going to put the say you're going to go swim in and you're going to put the water level to about halfway so you get the cool half in half out shots but which is really cool is because with the dome part of it, that's what it's made for. So it doesn't have that fisheye effect when you take a picture with a real GoPro. And here's a quick sample picture for you guys. So that's exactly how you use it. It is a little bit heavy, um, so you might want to, um, you know, put it on your wrist just in case you have to swim and just let it dang on your wrist. And another nice thing that it comes with is a bag, which so you can put it in your camera bag or just a bag um, if you're going swimming, which is nice so it stays protected. Um, as I said, it is a little too heavy to swim with, but the results are incredible once you get the hang of it. Um, you can also tilt the dome to get cool angles as well, just by tilting this here. Um, you can get some pretty cool angles if you wanted to um, as well. 
and you can attach um you can attach other accessories to the dome such as a three way or um a tripod or something like that if the water level is um pretty cool that would actually be pretty cool if you did like a uh time lapse with a tripod aiming at like a small creek or something just something like that so thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe like and also follow ss photography and reviews on instagram bye